Hello, um, I've got a bit of an update video for you today. I haven't finished it, but it's the uh, Gladiator kit from Apex. I'm doing it in the uh, Egyptian field of uh, battle when the North Africa campaign. campaign. Uh, doing World War Two early stages. Um, this is the uh, Gladiator, as I told you. Um, as I said. Now, so far, you can see what I've done so far. Um, got the en engine on, the two, sp the main uh, struts, the detail inside. It's quite detailed, but like most things, you can't see that once it's put together. But I've got all the cockpit, decal out, and the uh, detail on the control column, and some homemade. Uh, straps. The uh, engine is quite detailed really because you've got uh, three parts to it, back, middle and uh, front, and the two uh, intakes which go on there. Um, I painted the underside because in a scheme like this it gets quite complicated painting wise, uh, so it's best to paint as you go. I've used anthracite rather than black because I think that's more in keeping with the uh, with the scale and the dusty environment it'll be in. I'll, I'll, I'll dust it up more when the time comes. Pre-painted everything I could. Um, now, like other biplanes I've made, the main problem with uh, this kit that I imagine getting in, in trouble with is putting the top wing on the bottom wing. Um, now, in theory, it's all been thought through and you've got nice big pegs, holes to put the struts in, but they never do work out as simple as that was, as you'd expect, or hope. Um, and we've got new parts. I've been pre-painting pre other parts here, as you can see. Come a little, little uh, uh, what, what, what was in it? Cheesecake, cheesecake pots. Always usual, useful to keep some uh, yogurt or cheesecake pots to uh, keep bits of kit in. But they've got the uh, struts on a little sprue to hold it in place. Uh, you're supposed to put them in, and then they'll. To come down, but if you can, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points which will have to be mated up with the uh, holes on the top side. And uh, I'm not looking forward to it to be honest. <laughs> there we are, it has to be done. Uh, then I've left uh, parts unpainted, and especially the, the holes which they've left for putting the rigging in. That's going to be a bit of a tricky job, which I haven't done before, too. So I'm hoping to try and get this rigged, which may be one of the first times I will have successfully done a rigging job on a biplane. Um, you've got other parts in here I got ready. The underside, you've got the, uh, the area around the, uh, the cowling around the engine, the Mercury engine. It's in three parts, you've got the underside and then two other parts on the side as well. Um, they're quite well moulded and go on quite uh, quite well. There's little pegs to put them in place. So they, they'll be going in like that. Uh, but not until I think it's the right time for them. I've got the collector, the collector ring on the, on the front of the engine. Um, now a lot of people have painted bronze or all the same colour, but if you look at a real example, they're quite a varied colour on the edge. So I'll be trying to rep replicate that using various shades of bronze and brown, and maybe a bit of pastels for some purple hues and big gloss or not. Time to experiment with that sort of thing, but uh, hopefully it won't be too monochrome or uh, dull looking. And the option for the propeller, 
That's what it's called, I remember now. <laughs> I get tongue tied when I'm doing these videos, it's, you can tell, can't you? Um, it's quite a loose fit, but it, I'll be able to get it in place. You have the option to have the spinner cover on and off, and in this instance, in this example, you can leave leave it off. And I've tried to use cocktail sticks to uh, show up the highlight the, the bolts. Now whether that's going to be realistic or not, I don't know. Um, and I've got other parts ready right into the uh, tail surfaces, which fit on quite well. If I can see what I'm looking at. I had to take a pause with this kit because I literally had had eye strain from staring through the magnifying glass and trying to get the details because I'm not as young as I was and you got the option to mold the uh, model the uh, entry door down so that's another thing I've done I've pre-painted the wheels as well there's the other two halves of the cowling and pre-painted the guns so there we are that's how far I've got hopefully I'll finish it before the end of the year and uh, I'll have another tongue-tied silly video to show you when it's done. Alright, ta-da!